Once upon a time, the God Almighty, creator of all good things, gave Gabriel a mission after his creation was done. He said to Gabriel, Gabriel, look at me, your source of inspiration, who have created millions of species on earth. Beautiful species and plants, fruit and animals, lots of them. Diverseness. None looks the same. Gabriel, I've given you so much inspiration that I would be saddened if you cannot create one creation that can overexceed be more beautiful, be more perfect than all of my creation. It's not much I ask you. Look how much I've already shown you. You can simply just be inspired. And Gabriel said, yes, God, of course. Who else would I please? Who else? You have given me this opportunity, me of all, of all else. You have given it to me. I will not dissatisfy you. My Lord, give me some time. I wouldn't need much, as you said. Your inspiration is boundless, endless. I will come back to you as soon as possible. That's very nice of you, my dear. So, Gabriel went to his kitchen, took out his forms, made a form, made a dough, put the dough in the form, make the cut, try to form him, like he could handle some things better than others, so he could have advantages over the fruits and all, compared to all the other animals, and he could be master of every scenery, every scenario. He wanted to create something that wasn't just fit for one place for the rest of her life, like brass fishes just standing still. When the water flushes towards them, they just stand still without being flushed back. That's their whole life almost. Like other grazing animals, just remain on one place. But these, he said, I will make them mobile. So he went and he baked the first humans, which he put into the oven and then went to sleep. He wakes up by this smell of burnt. He goes up, hurries up and forgets, oh, he comes out of this beautiful dream. He's forgotten <laughs> the assignment his great idol has given him. So he goes and he checks on his uh, new creation, takes them out, not bad, just wipe off this smell and Okay, so we bring his form, the plate, onto God, oh God Almighty, are you pleased God, look what I have created. Gabriel, this is burnt, this is black, in night, you can barely see it. If you scratch it too much, it will be irritated by every little rub. Gabriel, I've given you all this, Gabriel. And you cannot even create one thing out of all these millions that far exceeds my creation. I want you to be better than me, Gabriel. Don't misunderstand me. I will not punish you if you create something more beautiful. Because in return, I too like to see something beautiful. Gabriel, don't make me 
put you somewhere where you don't like it. Just to show you what you make me go through right now. Oh dear God, give me one more chance. I shall not... So he goes back into his kitchen. This time, you know, he was afraid. He was very terrified that he would burn his uh, creation again. So when he baked his uh, dough, he put him in the oven and uh, because of his fear of burning it, he didn't go to sleep. It was like 15 minutes. <sighs> Let's take him out. Temperatures were low and he goes on there and puts his finger on the... It's okay. It's nice. Here. And he goes on to God and he's like, God, are you pleased now? Have I learned from my mistake? I wish not repeat them. Gabriel. What is this? It's white. It's jelloey. It breaks. You touch it. It's so soft. Not done. Weak. Gabriel, put this in Norway and put the other black ones in Africa. Don't disappoint me this time, Gabriel. Make me something nicer. Perfect. So, Gabriel was terrified course. So this time, he takes perfect temperature, perfect timing, he takes out his humans out of the oven. He, he rushes to God because he was so proud. I was like, wow. And he shows this to God and God looks at it. Look at this. Not bad, Gabriel. It was, uh, how can I explain? Uh, God uh, really liked it. Because it looked like something like mm, this. And he said, put it in Iran, Gabriel. I like this to be those among good people. Not bad or good, but less and better. Um, too much chocolate powder. Um, too little chocolate powder. You have found the perfect balance, my friend. Now they won't argue over your too this or your too that. Let those intermediate between those two others. And hey, hey, it's just a joke, okay? I'm not trying to be racist. <laughs> but what can I do? I'm golden. I can't help it. <laughs>